What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? What's up, what's up, what's up, everyone? Since I'm up 3.33 <laughs> in the morning, okay? I really woke up at 3. I said, let me see what's in the energy. Then I just flipped something on something. I said, let me see what's in the energies then. Let me see. And let me go back to sleep, y'all. Woke up. That damn wisdom teeth kicking, bro. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Let's see what we need to know. Late in the midnight hour. God's hour. We got a message. But see, I'm using my cards. It might be messy, but hey, let's see. Let's see what's going on in the late night, in the midnight hour. It's not midnight, but late night hour. Okay, somebody in the hospital. So somebody's real sick, too. Somebody in the hospital. All right. Somebody want you to get you a, give them a second chance. Y'all been through separation. Somebody you separation with, they want you to get them a second chance. Okay, you psychic, black sheep. Okay, and somebody trying to see what's up with you. Okay. Somebody with somebody just has somewhere to stay to. We got work. Ask for projecting and independent. So you had somebody trying to ask for project towards you. Probably somebody you work with. Or maybe you're a hard worker. You're very independent. Somebody been trying to ask for project to you. Okay, somebody just with somebody has somewhere to stay. So somebody trying to get in where they fit in, have them somewhere to stay for the fall and winter. I don't know. They have some somewhere to go. I don't see how y'all doing that in the way, because nobody ain't putting in what you putting in. They got to go. And if they're trying to stay with you to have somewhere to stay, they might, they're going to have to kick out them bills, too. Well, I don't understand. If they want somewhere to stay, they got to pay. <laughs> Maybe somebody you work with is trying to get with you because they need somewhere to stay. Somebody work with, they may ask for projecting to you, independent as hell, too, and they know that shit. But just because you independent on me, you better take care of somebody. Grown ass. Somebody wants you to get a second chance. Hey, somebody wants you to get a second chance who's only with you to have somewhere to stay. Somebody in the hospital, and when they get um, admitted, they don't have nowhere to go. Or somebody in the hospital. Let's see. Got money. Independent about your money. I don't blame you, shit. Somebody disappointed. Why, because you don't get no, no second chance? What's going on? reader am I disappointed because you're a reader and you're putting yourself first here we go down low stuck in the closet and bisexual popped out right behind this shit and they ain't even supposed to be in there So somebody's bisexual, they really stuck in, like, they like men and women. They like them both. Okay. Do you think they like one sex? No, they like both sex. But they ain't gonna let you know that. Okay. You got goddess. Okay, somebody going to court. Hater. So a hater of yours, goddess, is going to court. Okay. I got court. Somebody be hating on you, they... They're going to court, spiritual court, or court, period. 
probably both. Okay, this hater. Somebody say you made me feel like heaven is so far away. Somebody about to get some unexpected cash app. Somebody got an STD. They got another STD. They want your number. Or somebody else come on. Um, want to know can I have your number? I was like, yeah, I smell sexually transmitted demons or sexually transmitted diseases. Want your number? Mm. Somebody want to know can I have your number? Somebody haven't got over their ex. They trying to just make them mad. So somebody know they damaged goods and they trying to get back at their ex because they still mad because maybe they cheated the first time caught an STD and, and they left them or they fucked up over their ex and they still want them back. So they trying to act like they um over it by dealing with somebody else. But they haven't got over their ex shit. They probably still bring them up and shit. Somebody said, I never met nobody like you. Somebody said, I can't stop thinking about you. So somebody never met nobody like you, and they can't stop thinking about you. For some of y'all. Take what resonate, leave the rest. Take what fit. Okay. Some of y'all very loyal. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. Mm, I hope you ain't just loyal to the dick. Okay, somebody loyal and got dick whip. Is you loyal because you dick whip? Um. Let's see. What type of late night bullshit is this? I'm about to get the rest of the tea. Okay, somebody said they chose the wrong person. I couldn't hide nothing from you. Masculine. So this masculine knew I couldn't hide, they couldn't hide shit from you. They chose the wrong person. Masculine. Okay, they emotional as hell now. Cause they thought they about to sit here and play games. Shit. They thought they was gonna be able to do this, 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 that. I think this person thought they was the shit until they ran across you and you let them know real quick. I'm ready to charge to the bullshit. <laughs> you know, ready to charge to the bullshit. Ex wife. Capricorn. I dare dream about you a lot. Somebody got me had got or had many sexual partners. You probably was a single parent. You're intelligent and you got a beautiful aura. And you got some people be trying to take advantage of, you know, parents. Single parents, because they know, especially if you got your shit together. They know you're going to have your shit together because you got children. You're going to make sure your kid's right. So here's another child trying to come back in. <laughs> another child trying to come back in. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Somebody wants you to take a ride with them. Somebody wants you to take a ride. Leo. Okay. Somebody wants to take a ride. Leo. Someone wants want you to take a ride, or Leo wants you to take a ride. They say you taste like candy, your work husband. Newborn baby. It kills me how much I really love you. Somebody got a newborn, and it kills them how much they really love you. Like, I feel like people be trying to move on. I feel like somebody, people be trying to move on from something. So they get in these situationships, or college, thinking they moved on, not knowing they head and heart is still with your ass. Then they had children and everything else and thinking that's going to change something. And they had a heart and still with your ass. Okay? Saying don't give my love away. 
I got a question. If y'all do have the shit these people claim that they love you do, or do get your attention, do you think they'll take you back if you did have that shit? Like, deal with somebody else, have a baby, you was avoiding shit. Okay, we got higher self. You connect to your higher self in music. You could have pretty eyes, Pisces, a leader. Pisces, a leader. Connect to your higher self. One more, I'm getting much tea and I'm out of here, y'all. See what's going the fuck on. Okay. You got a lot of options. Some of y'all got options y'all don't even fucking know about. It must be fun when it's a surprise, ain't it? <laughs> you like, damn, I wasn't expecting that. I didn't know that. That's how you feel? Mm. I don't know why I'm getting somebody got somebody that really, um, you don't even know. This motherfucker top notch. Let me show you something. Then they though, they top notch as hell for real. Classic man. It's like, I don't know, you track the people that you think you did, could least attract. Like, you didn't know you attracting like that. Like, you noticing you. You too busy winning. You too busy winning. You was out here really winning. I feel like you don't even know the half the shit you doing. Okay? <laughs> you got a lot of eyes on you. You got a lot of people admiring you. You got a lot of people, like, interested in you. It's like you getting new suitors. You bringing in new type of... Mm-hmm. New type of options. YouTube is winning, moving in silence. Nobody know what's going on with you. I feel like you do better when you move along. I do better. You do better. Because, like, every time you try to express, like, express what you got going on or tell somebody what you got going on, thinking, like, they rocking with your stuff or thinking that they supporting you, they're really not. You feel like you see how they be trying to sabotage you or you can see the jealousy, the envious, and... And that shit being there. That's not what you're talking about. That shit being there. But you telling them what you trying to do. And it's making them more mad because they see how go-getter that you are. They see how ambitious that you are. They see the drive that you have. So they don't like that. So you done got smarter with the game. You're like, shit, I'm going to keep winning. But I ain't got to let nobody know. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Like, you in the silence with you. You appreciate your damn self. You don't need nobody else's um, validation or accolades. Like, yeah, you don't need no damn chili. You good. Okay, you unfazed. This supposed to went to the back. Hold on. To the back. 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 Okay, you unfazed. Got anything going on? Somebody's carless too. Somebody have no car. You annoying this person. Whoever call this right now, you annoying somebody. Okay. Oh, you've been blocking out a lot of people. You've been catching up on your rest. You've been in more peace since you, like, been to your damn self. I feel like a lot of y'all recharging your energy. Somebody's carless, though. Who you been ignoring? Be carless. Somebody getting some type of car issues, car repo. Mm. We got legal issues, court, judge, immigration. And they got court issues. And they lost the car, and then they got to go to court, too. Going back and forth for court. So maybe they had too much money. They had to spend their money going on court that they um, didn't have. Like, money already going into court. They already paying off court or paying money in court. And they can't handle that in the car, too. I don't really think the car broke down. I really think the car got repo. Somebody's spiritual hater. They hate on your spiritual. Like, they're like, nothing don't go wrong with your ass. That I don't know. But somebody's a hater. They hate on your spiritual light and your magical powers. They see that you're a queen rising. Okay, there's somebody had like a love secret, um, a romance love affair with, or somebody seeks love. Somebody used to deal with. Somebody you had relations with. Relations. This person see you stepping into your power into the spotlight, and they hate that shit. They see hate to see you rise.
And I feel like some of y'all is rising and you're very psychic and somebody's trying to fight evidence on you or some type of way. Somebody like, they ain't as good as you think they is. This person had a whole secret. It's like they're trying to get evidence about a secret love affair or romantic love affair that you had. It's giving me somebody trying to bring up a past, past shit that you ain't even own no more that you didn't already got down over trying to bring some shit back. But somebody trying to get evidence. Maybe somebody trying to see if you fucking with their dude or fucking with their girl. Somebody trying to get some proof of evidence about something. Okay? And them all up in your business. That's why they call us now. Going to court. Got them um, bankruptcy. Behind on bills. Don't know if they're coming or going. Somebody's really stressing out. And then they going through it, but when they look at you, same person they disrespected, same person they got down, thought they was going to shit on. I don't know. This could be somebody who thought they was the shit, but really hiding all these goddamn things going on. It's like the money that's coming in for them is going to either go to court because they got court. They're trying to get the car back. They got past bills. They picking and choosing which one we should pay and which one we should not pay. Somebody's being real unresponsible. You was flexing too hard or something. Okay. Now they want you back. That's probably why they with you have somewhere to stay. Cause somebody doing bad and they trying to and they know you be winning and shit. They know you independent and shit. They know you a queen ride, you stepping into your power. They know you about to come into the spotlight in some type of way. They know you about to be straight, well, stable, good. You know, cause you got a good mind. Like you ain't about to sit there and let yourself fall like that. Like, your pretty straight. It's like, that's giving me somebody who got their shit together end up dealing with somebody who ain't who ain't really shit. And they're trying to be something they really ain't. They paint a false ass picture. They're really sorry as hell. They lie like hell. This person can have somebody competing with you, dealing with somebody. I don't know, some, some type of girl fight. Maybe you just got a hating ass bitch around somewhere who just competing with you for no reason. Really, they competing with they sell. Or somebody's dealing with somebody who know about you. Or because you're trying to see somebody trying to get evidence about this love affair, okay? Trying to figure out who the fuck you are. Maybe trying to compete with you physically, type, start some type of arguments in some type of way. Dirty offer. Somebody trying to get you a dirty offer. Maybe somebody knew that man was trying to hit on you. Okay, you moved on. You said no thank you. Maybe somebody already dealing with, like, some of your ex probably already dealing with somebody and then they trying to come at you and then they always bring you up out there and talk all this shit about you, but then they notice the person they with is always watching you or doing certain things. It's like they know they still want you in a little bit. So... Why they still this person? Maybe they're trying to get back at you a couple of times because I'm hearing that Maya, like, if your, if that Maya or Leah, if your girl only knew what you're saying, what you're saying, what you're saying, huh? Like, they still sweating them, chasing them. Yeah, this person competing with you. Damn, they're worried to argue with you over this motherfucker that's not hitting on shit. Okay, you like, no, thank you. I done moved on next. That's why they on you so hard because you didn't move the fuck on. No motherfuckers always want what they can't have. Okay, somebody looking you up, researching you, studying you, trying to get some info on you. Somebody trying to figure out who the fuck you is. Somebody probably dealing with somebody who always bring up their exes or say something about them. And whoever they with, they bring up their exes to or try to lie and say why they broke up or why they ain't dealing with each other. What happened? They got their... Um, the person they with will go look up this person. And then when they look you up, they see why this person lied. I only got 20 minutes. See why this person on your dick so hard. They be looking you up and find a fake ass page through social media, Instagram, Twitter, whatever site you go. This bitch is a spectre gadget trying to figure out instead of just dropping the nigga all together. Because if anybody bring up his ex, they ain't over it. Any girl bring up their ex, they ain't over it. They, even women have you competing with their ex, see who gonna get them the most shit. Just like a guy. And some guys do something good and then want to come back thinking... I'm saying, I said earlier, I'm still on my ex, but I haven't got over you. Yeah, my time running out. Watch your thoughts. Treat us like you want to be treated and don't be so judgmental. Thank you for vibing with your girl and I appreciate you because it's only giving me 2037. 
Let's give me a dude who haven't got rid of ex and they trying to get back in with them when you ain't around. They girl ain't around and it's like a girl ain't over the ex, but they doing what they do to make the ex mad. Okay. And you got somebody that's looking behind you. Somebody competing with you behind the scenes you don't even know nothing about. You got somebody who wants your back, who's doing bad. And now they need you to save them. Don't save them. If you don't want to be saved, don't save them. And that ain't your nigga, don't claim them. All right? All right, y'all. Yeah, I'm just letting this shit roll because it gave me 37 more seconds. So I'm going to let it roll. Thank y'all. I appreciate y'all. And y'all have a blessed night. Chilling with your girl at the midnight hour. Love y'all.